For hundreds of Sri Lankan Americans worshipping on Staten Island Monday night, the terrorist attacks in Sri Lanka are more than a news story. Because love is more powerful than any else. There are mothers and fathers, sisters, brothers and cousins attending this special prayer service, all who lost someone dear to them in the attacks. Some of our community members have lost their family and friends, so we have deeply been affected uh, by this uh, trag uh, tragic uh, events in Sri Lanka. So far, the death toll is up to almost 300 and some 500 people wounded by what investigators believe was a highly coordinated attack carried out by several local extremists in multiple locations. In this surveillance video, one of the attackers can be seen purposefully walking through a courtyard and into a church before he detonates a bomb, killing himself and a church full of worshipers on Easter Sunday. Making matters worse, the Sri Lankan government acknowledges it missed a key terrorist warning before the attack. So it is here on Staten Island and in New Jersey. Home to the largest Sri Lankan population living outside of the Southeast Asian island nation, where one of the community organizers decided it was time to come together to pray. The terrorism has to be eradicated. Uh, no matter where in the world it is, uh, especially something that we never expected this kind of uh, religious terrorism to happen in Sri Lanka. We must challenge hate wherever it lurks, whether it be in distant nations or in our own neighborhoods. In recognition of the sizable Sri Lankan population residing in New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy also came to pay his respects. I mean, it's not just a far away tragedy like so many others in our in our world these days, but this is this one hits really close to home.